So my name is Dr. Brenda Kawala. I'm a Ugandan and uh, uh, I work in uh, a small district hospital called Kakira Hospital. It's a company hospital that uh, deals uh, basically with uh, a cane growing community. So these are local people who are basically cane cutters and uh, uh, the catchment population is about 30,000 people. So uh, beside that job that I do where I basically do outpatient work and inpatient towards uh, uh, working on clinics and uh, all this, besides that I also am a leader in the Uganda Medical Association where I'm the Deputy Secretary General and uh, basically the Uganda Medical Association is a body that brings together over 7,000 medical doctors in Uganda and the diaspora. And our main objective is to uh, advocate for better health care for Ugandans as well as better welfare for doctors. Because it's not enough to advocate for better health care for the Ugandans when the doctors who are working on them are, you know, are, are having a lot of issues and complaints and they will not perform. And if the doctors are not performing, then there will not be uh, any better health care in the country. The topic particularly that I'm going to address is working towards uh, equitable and sustainable health. Uh, and this is a topic that is really important to me personally, because uh, in the Uganda Medical Association, this is the work that we are doing every day. Because uh, this uh, working towards equitable and sustainable health is actually a challenge for most governments. It's a challenge for most countries because there are lots of racial discriminations and there are lots of uh, ethnicity discriminations, tribalism and uh, religious discriminations. But then how can, and then the socioeconomic part of it is actually the most important. But how can we have equitable health? So in Uganda, what we have been doing is basically is to, to change leadership. Uh, you know, Uganda Medical Association has been having leadership, but we felt not represented as the doctors. Uh, and as young doctors, we decided to take over leadership. So this leadership bit is both internal as the Uganda Medical Association and external as the government. So what we are doing currently, what we did two years ago, because I've been in this place for two years now, so what we've been doing is basically to, how can we get in the space where our issues are represented? Because doctors tend to have complaints in their working areas, the working conditions are not good, there are no supplies, there are no drugs. Uh, you know, there are lots of doctors who are going out of the country. This leads to brain drain. And when there is brain drain, then the, definitely the health workers reduce. You know, the, 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 the World Health Organization recommends one doctor to 1,000 patients. Unfortunately, in Uganda, it's one doctor to 24,000 patients. And in my area where I work, it's one doctor to 30,000. So you can see the burden is really high. And even the doctors who are working are actually uh, not all of them are practicing, so some of them are in NGOs, some of them are into business, they have given up on health. So basically we are trying to see how can we as doctors get together in unity. So the second, this brings me to the second issue of unity. UMA is trying hard to bring the doctors together and tremendously in the two, two years of our leadership in the Uganda Medical Association, we have changed the... the the trend at which doctors subscribe to the Uganda Medical Association by about 112%. So this to us is a success because we have realized a more amalgamation of doctors together to fight for the common issues that affect us in the places where we work. And so when we come together, we have managed to accomplish a lot of things. And this brings me to the third issue, that, that is advocacy. So what we've been doing in the two years still, in a, it's a very short time, but the tremendous uh, results that we've got have actually encouraged us to keep doing the work that we are doing. So the next thing we are doing is advocacy. And uh, personally, I led a march to parliament to present a petition. And uh, this petition was on uh, better health care for Ugandans. And then later, when we, we felt we were not listened to, we went into an industrial action 
we called for an industrial action and doctors came together and said we are putting down our tools we did this for three weeks and i'm telling you this caused a lot of uh, political turmoil and uh, everyone was uh, head over heels on this issue the public was involved they felt uh, so we, we had the public on our side because we, we tried to explain our issues and the reason, I, I mean the fact that we are actually laying, laying down our tools for their benefit. Mm. So this helped us in uh, having them on our side and then we advocated and in the end we had uh, tremendous results. The government increased 20% of the supplies and medical equipment in hospitals that we felt were lacking because people are always improvising so they increased 20 percent of uh, these supplies into the hospitals and then the doctor salaries were increased between 40 and 200 percent uh, depending on the on the level of specialty so we feel we should continue with this advocacy work we feel in the future we should even get in the political spaces so that we influence this equitable and sustainable health. We feel we should interest the doctors uh, out of the country who have gone the brain drain. They should come back and work for their people because we have a very low doctor, I mean a very low doctor patient ratio which needs to be addressed.